Hello and welcome to another video where so we're covering another Portal Craft deck this time around. It is a more artifact based heavy deck and it does have the Maisha finisher as normal and it's also running Orb of Destruction. I really wanted to give this card a good go. I played with it a little bit when it first came out but never really fit it into a deck where I could have some fun. So I thought why not give this a solid go and it actually turned out quite well. So we'll get right into this and check it out. So, starting our first match off here, we are going up against Blood. Portal vs Blood is actually pretty reasonable for this deck. It can be a little bit of a problem since we typically play on the slower side where Blood plays on the faster side. But since you can pretty much swarm with artifacts repeatedly, they don't really have much chance to full on recover. So, definitely not the worst situation. Orb Destruction turn 1. Typically I like to use that on 5, but I felt like in a blood match I need to get it out sooner rather than later because wasting my whole turn 5 on playing it probably isn't going to be a viable option. Unless I of course had something like um, complete domination with artifacts up, but that's not really practical. And I decided to pretty much forego my issue this match since it's probably also going to be a little too slow. Even though I had a chance with Augmentation Bestowal and stuff to really get her out. Prototype Warrior, pretty solid turn 2 play. I don't unfortunately have any other play. Wish I had a better play to go with it, but we'll deal with what we've got. Trill, not a bad one for our opponent there. We should be able to take out this board pretty respectively here. This place a bot, definitely going to work to our advantage. Bifurcating Artifact is actually the perfect one to get as well. We're going to do some pretty mass drawing next turn. I expect them to at least wipe out one of two here. Well, maybe both actually. I forgot that Metal Blade will of course deal damage if it's got a buff on it. But that's fine, I mean, the quicker our um, artifact here goes down, the better. Bifurcating, that should save us some time. We even got a chance to actually use um, Sion, which I don't usually get a chance to use that often. Another chance with some more bifurcating. And even more draw, maybe a little too much draw, just. I'm glad it was only just, I didn't want to overdraw too much, so that did actually work out pretty well. Keeping our hand nice and stocked, only overdrawing by one, and Technology. dealing with everything in a pra pragmatic way, I would say. Okay, not too great, but I do have to get rid of the 1-1 one, the one, one bat guy there, I don't want him to open up really, so we really should banish him. <laughs> Go face a little bit for 4 damage, should be a good start. And the Evos, of course, drop our artifact by two, so that's even better. Double Hellblaze Demon, that's pretty respectable. We know they're probably buffing something quite strong, so we definitely need to start dealing with this sooner rather than later. Now I'm definitely going to struggle dealing with the 3-2. That's really the only card that I'm going to have some trouble with. Pretty much forces me to use Shion here and boost our artifacts up. At least it also means I get 4 damage in. With only 4 countdown left, which will be 3 at the end of next turn, or 2 actually, if we trade in this artifact. This is going very quickly. I went for Mechagon, I forgot I had no artifacts in my deck. A little sad about that. I would have preferred to have had artifacts, of course. And now a really good chance to protect our board. Well, it doesn't protect us from everything. It does a pretty good job at at least buying us some time. Now they need to take this thing out. Fortunately, they didn't. And I decided to prep myself using Xion, since of course that level limit our damage pretty severely. Now our victory is pretty much assured there, which with the concede it definitely is. 
Next up, Portal vs. Portal. I'm going first, it's definitely a good advantage. I can probably play this match slightly slower than I played the last one. I was accounting for them being something like Dark Face Bat, which is why we went for Orbit Destruction Turn 1, although Orbit Destruction Turn 1 isn't always the worst possible option, it just usually isn't the one I favour most of the time, since playing it for 5 and getting a discount of 15 is actually really good, especially if you already have an existing board, but I did decide to end up throwing it down on Turn 1 again anyway. I decided I didn't want to take the risk of having to play it on 5. Prototype Warrior, good play on their end. I would have played uh, Synthetic Beast earlier, I just really wanted to get the artifacts into the deck this time. Since I already have a uh, Mecha Gun. Alpha Core, that's actually really good for them. They're running mostly artifacts. So, Iron Steed plus... Really nothing else, I don't need anything else with Iron Steed. Just throwing some more artifacts in the deck, stocking us up, should be a fine. I get another chance, this time we're going to go for Radiant, for plus 6 damage. Plus, the Evo will give us that extra bit of countdown. Apostle of Destruction, with an Evo, that's actually not the worst thing that could have happened. Nothing stays hidden from me. Now, Double Angel, why not? I can throw them out, may as well get them on the board. Plus, we're stocking our deck pretty heavily now. Bifurcating Artifact, that's not a fun thing to see come down now. Definitely one of my favourite additions to artifact bifurcating ones. There's not many good ways to use them, but they're definitely a lot of fun when you do get to use them. Ooh, and that's a pretty good draw for us. Double H and artifact. Not that I'm that interested in using both of them right now, but getting them is definitely valuable. And I could go for six damage to the face, or we could take out the one one. I think. I think taking out the 1-1 just to be safe, and getting 3 is pretty acceptable. Again, bifurcating artifact. Double bifurcating, that's a really good way to fill up their board. Pity that's about all they're doing now, since we've pretty much got lethal here actually with Xion. Very nice. So this deck was actually a lot of fun. Orbiter's Desecration is a really fun one to use. I, like I said, don't get to use a card like that very often, and it's really cool that I got to use Xion as well. Two legendaries that both really don't see as much play as they probably could, and also this deck becomes reasonably cheap since we're only running four legendaries and still manages to hold its own okay in the current meta climate. So if you guys did enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You'll find the deck list in the description below. Until next time, guys, see ya.